Nautica Akwabwa Usoko Yeah, you know one one <laughs> The Holy Empire Aye Maybe I want a problem Mobi I mean you may know what What's your life at Mobi, I want a problem. Don't go to want a problem. Papa does fight, want a problem. As I'm watching, want a problem. I did buy us who want to do. That's a need in our mecca. For where they want a problem. Yeah, and only a seller. You know what I said? In the studio, Nautica is here. Good morning. Good morning, Brandy. Finally, finally, you're here. <laughs> yeah. Yes, <laughs> and you are not only here, you are here with your boss. Yeah, I'm here with my boss. So today I'll chop money. He's <laughs> fasting. Are you also fasting? No, I'm not fasting. I thought you were Muslim. No, I'm a Christian. You don't like Islam, is that the mm. case? No, I do. I okay. Because like mm. um, sometimes I, I do fast with them. It's okay. that this year that I did. And sometimes when I go to the Ajuma, I know that. Oh, really? Yes. Why? Is it because your boss is a Muslim? No, I was doing that in before he became a why Muslim. you are a Christian? Well, how, I, how do you why why would you want to go to the Muslim to to uh, why would you want to go to to the mosque to to worship with the Muslims? Okay, I lived with the Muslims okay. because where I lived they were all Muslims. Okay. So sometimes on Friday when I'm home and I just don't do anything, I will just say okay, I, um, today I want to go with you to the mosque for the. Gym. Did you did you learn how to bow your head? You hit your head, your forehead. On the floor, and wait, were you taught, or you just went there and decided to mimic what they were doing? No, I was taught. Really? Yeah. That'd be quite hard. <laughs> and then they, 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 but they chant some prayers, huh? Yeah. Wow. Did you learn all that? For that one, I know some of it, but not all. Must so, you speak Al Alza or Arabic, no. or you speak in any language? For Is me, it? when I'm praying with them. Because I'm, I, 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 I don't say the words out. So okay. what, whatever that I'm saying is inside me. Deep so in I your know, heart. Okay. I know what, whatever that I'm saying. So that is the reason. Oh wow. Yeah. What is MOB? Um, Pussy record with me. Okay. Yeah. At that time, then I wasn't fully with them, so it made the promotion of that song a bit difficult because MOB I think has the the connect and all that to push the song. So before that song, then I wasn't really. In in the full contract with them. Yeah. And are you getting the push now? Yeah, now I'm getting the push. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. I never knew you were getting all the push. <laughs> yeah. So, it, 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 is it because of management? Why you're working with the likes of Aquabua, Kelvin Boy, and, and Ponobium and the rest? Yeah, um, I would say it was easier to get to these people because of my management. I, I I wouldn't have had any idea when I would meet these people and put them on my song. But because of Posse G, it came very quick to put them on my song. So I would say like my, my management played a bigger role in all this future with this. You, you look like a rapper. You don't even look like a singer. That's true. What, what informed singing? Why didn't you rap? At okay. the point in time, almost everyone was rapping. Yeah, then I was doing rap until I I wrote a song that I wanted to put um, Bisa Kede on the song and I called him and we met at the mall but you know the way the conversation went like my spirit really came down a little because of the way he spoke to me and all that I didn't enjoy that kind of conversation with him so I said okay what, what did he say um I, I sent him the song to listen and then he listened to the song and then he, he was like, oh, he, now he's not f um, featuring underground artists. So if he wants to feature me, then I have to pay him 5000 And this is way Whoa. back. Yeah. You know, because he don't do songs with um, underground artists. So I was Whoa. like, oh, if he's able to tell me that. Because even the song I wrote, I wrote the verse that I wanted him to sing. So I said, if I wrote this verse for you to sing, then I can just go and do it my, myself. So, I mean, he really made me feel like let me just do this thing. didn't he like the song probably he didn't like the song okay then he should have okay but then what if he he he, he mentioned that five thousand and I, I was able to pay mm -hmm. then you you have to do it so if you don't like the song i think there should be another 
explanation than me paying him that kind of money. Because if I was able to, then what was he going to do? You know. And he requested five thousand Ghana CDs from you. Yeah. Before featuring. Yeah. And that was when they, he came out with um, he came with um, uh, is it Azunto Ghost or I this one of the songs. You know. Back then he had not even blown up. No 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 no. You know, and the the way he spoke, the way he was so relaxed, like I was I was really hurt. But yeah, so it's kind of, it's one of the so it was it was rude to me. Have you ever had any apart from Bisa? Any other experience with any other musician? No. And you didn't give up? No, no, no. So Even that really motivated me to do the singing, and I think the singing has brought me far. Because the rap, I, I, I'm I, for sure the rap had, had taken me to this point. Listen to Nautica. In the studio, I've got Nautica featuring uh, Kelvin Boy on this one. They call Fly. Come like a lion, man, I roll, yeah. See me looking fly. You do the work we do, you know the slow, yeah. See me looking fly. Well, see me looking like a real dealer. Boy, Raquel, La Quabua, Ponobium. Didn't they charge you? No. With me, I, I we didn't talk up and on this future. Personally, they, they did that with like um, Pussy G spoke with mm -hmm. them on my behalf. Yeah. But for me, I, I also think that. At a point in time, you you would also be charging people for features, and that's your business. So yeah. if Bisa charged you, it wouldn't have I'm, been any big deal. I'm not worried about the the amount that he charged, but the way he he was like his his expression. Okay. And okay, I got you. Yeah. I got you. Okay, so now let's talk about your new song, the song that that sparked controversy. <laughs> Now it looks as if everyone that goes to Pussy studio comes up with <laughs> <laughs> So you're some problems. Yeah. You featured a cover on it. Yes, I guess. Someone came up that he he wrote the song earlier and a cover lifted portions of his song and featured for you. Did you write the song or a cover did? I wrote. You wrote or oh, you wrote your verse. Yeah. Akwaba. Okay, so the chorus was written by Akwaba. Right. Did you hear what KB Bini said? I did. So why didn't you come up to speak? Um, because, uh, well, we don't know the truth. Um, I, sometimes I think we don't need to always come outside and be, be arguing with, 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 with um, some, some people because um, I was listening to the interview and he said he sent the song into his group, um, the music group that um, Akabwa was in the group. Mm -hmm. And the day that we recorded the song, I'm an artist my, my, myself. And I know when someone is trying to put bars on the beat that is already written. And when somebody is trying to put a bars on the beat that he's just trying to compose now. So the way um, Akabwa went on with that um, book, the problem on that beat, I, I, I know it was something that he, he just did instantly because it took us a, 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 a little time and it, it took us some, like it, we made a lot of changes on that song. It took us time to compose it because, so if it's a song that if he already had in mind, I don't think it would take us that time to compose. That it would have easily come out. It would have easily just put it on. But you know, we went through a lot to put it on. So I don't think it's something he listened or stole it from someone. Now let's let's wrap it all up with yours. Yes. But I must confess it's a nice song. Thank you. Beautiful song. Your name, Nautica. Where does it come from? You're a naughty What's boy. No. <laughs> no, because you look, no, you look, you look, you look like a naughty. <laughs> There's this girl on on social media always singing your songs. She claims she's a musician, but it's always about about your song, naughty girl. <laughs> you know, are you promoting your songs or no? I just like your song. I'm like really. You're a <laughs> Yeah, your name. Yeah, my name is because I'm, I'm coming from Tomtema and there's a post site, uh, post site, I just chose uh, Nautica because it has some kind of relation. Oh, I see. So you did you choose it or someone named you? 
Okay, then it then it was naughty, but you know, coming into the music, I was like, let me just brand it well. So I, I just branded it to naughty. Mm, yeah. I see. <laughs> but your your music did it just start, or someone inspired you to do music? Um, no, I was doing music um, way back, but then I I made a co um, commercial just twenty twelve that I made a commercial, but I mean, it's now that I'm, I'm feeling the force of it. Yeah, I'm a crab, maybe I'm young kind. Yeah, then how? Say it. Uh, okay, kind No, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> okay, um, uh, yeah, it was just uh, recently the VGMA, mm -hmm. um, and um, I, 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 I was there when, 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 when everything was going on. And then I saw our legend, uh, Mama Chidi Day, okay. come in and crown Kwame Eugene as the best high life now, which it didn't really sit well with, with me. Cause, okay. Yeah, because I felt um, he's not really taking high life to that um, extent that we feel he has to be crowned. Mm. Yeah. And then, you know, we are also doing high life and if some, someone should just um, reign for like a year and he's been crowned high life, why don't we wait for a decade or like... But don't you also think that probably he is doing something right? I mean, um, if, if a legendary artist like I'm watching it... But it was so quick, it was so soon because there are people also trying to push out there. So why don't you just... Because for, for him, I think when we all accepted him to be the high life, legend it didn't take him like a year for us right. to accept him it took him a very long time so i was thinking it should also take some 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 period of time for him to come out and do what he did wow wow so nautica expressing his displeasure this is your home feel free and come at any time Thank forget you. your boss come <laughs> uh, and one more assignment if he finishes fasting bring us meat <laughs> Even if he refuses to give, sneak it, I'll sneak it. bring I'll it. Sneak it. Yeah. Otherwise, your song won't <laughs> play. <laughs> Alright, guys, so that's Nautica for you. You're on this 103.9 FM. David is seated. Oh, Dave, would, would you want to say something before we check out? Um, just just a quick one. Um, I, I was listening in uh, on the way here mm. and I, I heard about the. The five thousand feature. Right. <laughs> I mean, honestly, um, it's kind of rare for an artist to charge another artist for a feature. I mean, most most of the time, there's there's this um, camaraderie between between uh, artists where we all want to help each other out. You see the thing. So um, I, I was a little bit surprised. But um, the, the the main thing I took away from this is um, you mentioned that you've been commercial since 2012 you see and you've stuck with it we're now in 2019 so that's a good seven years you see the thing and, and that's biblical you know seven years seven years. years yes so but but um, it, it should tell the up-and-coming artists out there those who are just starting out that it doesn't happen in a day or a year unless you're very very lucky mm -hmm. but most artists have to pay their dues you have to work very hard and do all sorts of things that you know you wouldn't you wouldn't think um, they had to do in, in terms of where they have to perform the sorts of uh, bars and clubs and pubs and things they have to go to to just to 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 get their name out there so um, I want to say big ups to, to Nautica that he's, he's putting in the hard work and I hope that you know you have really good music so I hope that the, the, the world sees it very soon and, and comes to accept you and, and love you because um, um, I think you, you've got the talent. Really, really nice stuff. And I saw him sitting out there, pretty cool dude. You can't even tell who he is. And if you're going to be like this, it's going to take you a long way. Being humble is something that. I'm always like this. Yeah, so Yo. <laughs> you have to be What you hear this morning means you're a big deal. So learn to show gratitude and then whatever they tell you to do. Because even though he's a pest, I still listen to him every single day. Really whatever. <laughs> yeah, he blushes every time we see something nice about him. But yeah, it's very important. Oh and God. keep doing music. I listen to you. Ernest! Yeah, Andy, mm -hmm. you are talking about, um, AJ was talking about the fact that he should try and be 
you know, that respectful, that calm, and you were saying that uh, we've seen it over and over. Yeah, some of them they come with their knees bending. Sure. Later on, you see them with a straight leg. Yeah, I was caught. Then later on, you see them tiptoeing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 they reach. But but what I would say is, um, you see, just as Dave has said, you know, Dave is very experienced. So and he has ears for good music. So once he endorses it, you know, and now that Lucifer is not here, don't lose you. Don't lose him, you. You know, yeah. But I, I'll say that keep on doing what you believe in. Keep on doing what you have. That is your pot of gold. God gives you talent so that you can feed, you know, from that. So keep on doing it well. And the problem that one day I asked one musician, um, do you see music as your career or a hobby? And he couldn't tell the difference. Very good question. Yes. Because if it is your career, I woke up 3 a.m. I got here 5 a.m. You know the time I'll close? 8 p.m. You see, because it's my career. So I'm dedicating my life and my time for it because that is what feeds me. Yeah. That is what I'm investing my future yeah. in. Mm -hmm. So that in future, when I grow old, I wouldn't go begging. Yes. If it is your career, you will not be doing friends, 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 but you have a timetable. Time for music. This time I should be writing. This time I should be rehearsing. This time I should be training. This time I should be learning how to play an instrument. This time I should be doing this. By five years to come, this is what I want to do. You know, you, you have to a, a plan, plan for it. But if it is a hobby, you know, that is where the boys, boys, you know, the girls, girls, let's tag along, you know, comes in. So if you want to make it a, a career, then you need to have a plan for it. Because the gift is there. It is up to you to make use of it wisely so that you can make it big time. What's your social media handles? Can you please give them out? Um, yeah, my... Um, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook is um, Notica GH on all um, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.